All right, so tonight we're going to be doing a S matrix of Nusinov and Jacobson. As you can see, some of it's already done just to help us with time. Um, so right here on the left and top columns, we have um, the mRNA amino acids um, aligned accordingly, and that's why we have zeros all along the diagonal. This is because A to A cannot match up, so we add zero. And the same thing with the whole diagonal. As you can see, we follow the same trend in this diagonal. However, when we reach U and A, we notice those two can be aligned. So that's why we look to the left, or down and to the left. And since it does match, we add 1 to this number. And then we begin here, look down to the left, and they don't match because it's A to C. And A to C don't match. So we make that a 0. And here we have A to U which matches, so we added a 1, and same with this. So we repeat this process and until we continue, we got 1 there, and um, 1 here, so we keep continuing this trend, if they match, add 1 to this number. And since A to C don't match, that's why this remains a 1. And we continue down, and we'll start up top here, we have A to U that does match, and we look down and to the left. So we add 1 to this number, that's 2. As we continue, we look C to A does not match, so we look down to the left. No, but we can take this number from the left, so we make that a 1. A to C does not match, but we can look down, and we remain to take that 1. A to C, oh, pardon me, yeah, A to C does not match. We can look down and we can use this 2, actually. We take the highest number out of the 3. We got u to u, does not match. So take this continuing 1. c to c does not match, continue with 1. Alright, we got c to a does not match, we'll take this 2. a to a does not match, so we'll take the highest out of these 3, which is a 1. a to c doesn't match, but we got a 2. U down to U does not match, we take 2. And this process continues. Um, pardon me. So if A to A doesn't match, we'll take a 2. A to A, A, to A doesn't match, we take a 2. U to C does not match, but we have twos around. Does not match, so you take a two. And it doesn't match two. U to C does not match. So that becomes a, pardon me, a two. And two. U to A does match, so we can make this a three. So we look down to the left and add 1. And then we have U to A, which does match, add 1. C, and then we can C to C, does not match, keep that a 2. And as we finish up, we have C to A, which will become, pardon me, a 2. And then this will become a 3. So that's how you do the chart. Um, and now we can recourse back and find the base pairs that match in the optimal structure. That is done by, pardon me one moment please, it's done by tracing our steps backwards. So we can probably trace this three to this, because it's a diagonal, uh, but we didn't add one, so pardon me, since it's a mismatch we go down to this three. Since U to A is a match, we can go down to this 2, because that's where we got it from. And from this 2, we can trace this back down to... It's an A and A, so it doesn't match, so we got it from here. And continue, C to A, doesn't match, we got it from here. And A to U does match, so we got it from here. And then A to U does match, so we got it from here. So this will help us uh, decide which way we're going to go. 
And this is just going to take one moment to figure out. Oh, pardon me. So you can see that's how we traced it back. Down, down, down. Until we get to the zero. And back to where we started. And now doing this, we can do our drawing lines between our base pairs below. I'm just going to turn this to its side real quick. So this is already drawn out for us. This is the amino acid, uh, pardon me, the nucleotide alignment we had above. And we know that a A and a U match at 9 and 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So easy way to do this is just write the numbers underneath. Eight, nine, ten. So we can see nine and zero match. So just draw a line over to nine zero. We see that eight and three. Oh, pardon me, that must be a mistake. Pardon me. So this is yeah, no, it's a A to you, it should be here. not up here. See, we just corrected ourselves. Because this was an A to C, but it's supposed to be A to U. So we have 8 and 4 matching. And then um, we have 7 and 5 as well. So that leaves this A in the middle. And this is going to be a bit different to draw, so I'm going to draw this out and I'll post up another video. I hope I did this correctly, and thank you for watching.